All right, but so far uh, we don't have any formula. We have some vague descriptions. We need angle, we need length. So, well, we should convert all that into some computable formulas. Now, given the formula for f of t, given that function f, how can we compute the angle between tangent lines at these two points? So let me continue this with some computation using precise formulas. So the angle between tangent lines is actually equal to the angle between velocity vectors. So we can look at the velocity vector at this point, and that vector is f prime of t, just the derivative of the position. We can look at the tangent vector at that point, and that vector is f prime of t plus delta t. And now we can measure the angle between two vectors. Well, what's the way to measure the angle between vectors? Well, we can measure cosine of that angle using dot product. So we can take f prime of t dot product with f prime of t plus delta t. Divide all that by magnitude of f prime of t. Also by magnitude of f prime of t plus delta t. And that quantity will be cosine of the angle. Now, if we need, if we need the angle itself, we have to take cosine inverse of all that quantity, and that's the angle. Now, what's the length of the curve from this point to that point? Well, that's not an easy uh, expression if you want to turn it into an exact formula. So, let me leave it for now as just length and uh, remind you from calculus 1, I suppose, or no, from calculus 2, that length can be computed as an integral from t to t plus delta t of the magnitude of the speed with respect to t. So that would be the exactly precise formula if you want this length to be expressed. Uh, well, exactly, but uh, well, I would try to avoid using integrals because I believe the concept is, is purely differential and integral is more complicated concept than differentiation. <laughs>